Welcome back, everybody. It is a beautiful day. In my last forecast, we took a look at Greensboro, and now I want to show you High Point. Look at this High Point University camera. Fantastic view out there today. Blue skies. My gosh, it's a little different than yesterday, is it not? We had that severe weather. And many of you have reached out on Facebook and Twitter, and I'm so excited you have, and you love seeing the mountains. Guess what? Me too. So I wanted to show you King Street here in Boone. Looks good up there as well. A little chillier up this way, but it is dry. So that's good. Here's what you need to know. Sunny skies, no doubt they've returned. We've got a light breeze today, but overall calm weather to enjoy. The winds were just like a little heavier before noon, and they've died down. Everybody in the single digits as far as wind speeds go at this point. Here's the thing, though. Chillier temperatures, they are on the way. All right, right now, look at this. We're at 57 in Winston-Salem and Moxville, 61 in High Point right now. We're at 64 right here in Burlington, 63 in Siler City, and 61 in Asheboro. So there you go. Our UV index is very high. So if you are going to go outside, maybe do a little gardening, social distancing in your yard, make sure you wear that sunscreen. Sunburn is highly probable on a day like today, and you do not want to get sunburned. Oh, my gosh. We're already social distancing. Why add sunburn to that? Look at these wind speeds out there. Single digits, as I mentioned, no issues whatsoever with that. But tonight, we are going to get a little cooler. 43 will be our forecast low. Now, if you look at this up in the mountains, I just showed you that Boone camera. They're low tonight, well below freezing at 29. But we're in pretty good company here in the triad. 45 is the low for Charlotte, and 43 is the low for Raleigh. So there you have it. Now, I'm going to jump back real quick. Uh, let's see if it'll do it. There we go. I wanted to talk to you about the rain that we've gotten. Uh, mainly, this was what happened uh, overnight into yesterday. You'll remember just so much severe weather, even that EF1 tornado that touched down in Alamance County. Well, it left mark because look at this, almost two inches of rain in parts of Alamance County, uh, almost an inch and a half in uh, Guilford County, but I wanted to save the best for last. Right here in Forsyth County, two and a half inches just to the southwest of Winston-Salem, and then almost two inches there. Uh, in Davidson County. Now, we're going to have this area low moving up, and also we've got this area of high pressure just behind us. But this area low, as it moves up, uh, is going to kind of be out of here and make way for some of these showers behind it to come through, and that would be overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. So, will we see any severe storms? No, we won't. And by tomorrow afternoon, we'll have this area of high pressure that starts to move even further in, and that'll clear us out and dry us out beautifully, which is good. But let me show you a visual here on Futurecast. You can see exactly what I'm talking about. See some of these light showers mainly off to the west, again, tonight into tomorrow. And they'll stay mainly off to the west and in our northern counties, too, until we hit the overnight hours, and that's when some of our eastern counties will be hit as well. So there you have it. As far as rainfall totals go, I mean, they're not high. It's well under a tenth of an inch of any uh, thing in your rain gauge at all should show up. So it's nothing like what we had yesterday. Put those shoulders down, relax. There's nothing to worry about. 62 is our high today, partly cloudy. And take a look at the next seven days. All right, you'll see we go from the 60s to the 50s for tomorrow. Now, our low, it's come up a bit. Yesterday, I talked a little bit about frost Wednesday into Thursday. Well, we are going to be two degrees, I shouldn't say warmer, but above where we were at. We were at 36 yesterday, 38 uh, today's projection, Wednesday into Thursday. Is frost possible? A little bit, possibly, from about 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. Again, Brad, Wednesday into Thursday morning. Then the high Thursday, 64, and we're at 70 on Friday. So the high temperatures are fantastic. A lot to look forward to.